How's it going there, friends? Well, I am going to try and take care of the Tree Sentinel. The Tree Sentinel is the guy in the golden armor at the beginning of the game. I guess uh, he was too tough in the beginning, and I just kind of blew him off. Here I am, significantly farther in the game, and I have not beat him yet. So I'm going to go over there and do that. Um, I'm going to treat him the same way that I pretty much treat the Knight's Cavalry. So the Knight's Cavalry are pretty tough. Um, I usually use magic or arrows against them. So we're going to start off. Let's see. Let's hit him with the... Uh, I'm just going to hit him with some regular normal arrows. I got some backup. 50, 50 other arrows backup. So there's really not a good place um, for you to fight this guy. You know, he just kind of patrols this area. <clears throat> so we're going to, um, I will show you guys one little trick if you guys want to use this. Let's get off of him real quick. You can go over here. All right. And you can fight him from this angle. If you wanted to, right? So as you guys can see, you can't get up here, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. He can still hit you if you get close. So you're waiting for an, a really an opportunity to make your shot. Like that. Oh, that was a little bit. Let's get back on the horse. That'll give me some a height advantage. He might disappear and go. He did. He disappeared and went back to over here. It's not a big deal. He'll he'll be back. So there he is. So anyways, <clears throat> you just kind of plank him from here. It's a pretty good technique. He can ultimately hit you uh, if you're not careful. He's really not going to be that big of a challenge overall. So he's a bit of a pain in the butt. So this is kind of a little trick when I've beaten him with other characters. <clears throat> Let's see what he does. Let's see if he comes back this way. Alright, his shield is super good. And by the way, if you shoot magic at him, that shield will reflect it and hit you with it. So that part does suck a whole lot. Let's see what it does. Maybe he'll move away. All right. This is not the most exciting way to fight him. I will tell you, this is the safest way to fight him. All right. Let's have a little bit more fun with him, okay? All right. Let's get him chasing us. Then we strike after his. We make our shot after his uh, attack. Aim. Hit him. And, oh, let's see if I can get him to swing at me. So swing and a miss, and I get my shot. Swing and a miss, and I get my, oh, I did not hit the button hard enough. Guess I did run out. Ooh, he almost got me with that one. So he's got this little lag right after his shot, and um, he is quite tough. If he hits you, you will be sorry. I'm only doing 100 damage. You know, I could be hitting him with a sword, and I would be doing better damage. That hit, I think. Uh, but don't get mad when he hits you. Just get back up and fight him. see there's a little lag in between each one of his strikes. Oh. Ah, I did not get away. All right, he did knock my horse down, so my horse is probably hurt. Gotta be careful on the turns. That is when he usually gets me on the turn. You gotta be able to hit. And mostly be going forward. 
Oh, the fatness. Dang, he reached me, reached out and touched somebody there. Great day. Let's get, get a little heal action here. Hey, buddy. Be funny if you beat me. And he has. He's beaten me before many times, so uh, it is a real thing. So it really is kind of the timing drill. He got his shield up. Nice. Stinker. It's pretty sinking. Legit guy. By the way, there's two of these guys you gotta fight later on in Lando. So cavalry actions are, you know, there's always a good, better, best. If you're fighting footmen, foot soldiers, you definitely want to use the big axe, the horse, the armor, and run them over. And then, ooh, see how I turned around? There's a, a bit of a, kind of a hesitation in my uh, move. Man, how did he hit me? That was far enough away, I thought. Maybe it's just matter. Maybe the angle. Who knows? Oops. I knew he was going to get me on that one. Almost got me on the next one, too. So maybe it was because my stamina was low. How oh, am I missing him? Let's take this way. Just totally missing him. Something weird going on here. He got me on the turn again. You guys see my weakness? Don't just look at his weaknesses and think, oh, this is how you beat him. Look at your own weaknesses. That's pretty important. I'm gonna go ahead and drink again. I don't want to be full health if I get screwed up here. Oh, right there. See my little lag? My animation lag there. You know, I'm one shotting. Gotta be able to uh, holding the shot a little bit longer than I wanted. Got him. And he's pretty fast, you know, he kicks his horse in the high gear too. This is it right here. That should have been a what in the world. God damn, the tree sentinel. Anyways, he's not a terribly tough boss. If you can fight the other uh, uh, Knight's Cavalry, you can fight him. Same sort of tricks, same sort of tactics. I like archery and magic for the guys that are super tough. Pretty cool, though. How did I do? I didn't get but about three grand in experience. I think I was pretty much dead broke because I'd been buying arrows and so forth. Anyway, pretty good guy to fight. Pretty easy. If you can fight the Knight's Cavalry and you can fight the Tree Sentinels, you're pretty good uh, cavalry uh, warrior. So again, on the horse, you got bow, you got, you know, halberd or lance or in some cases sword. Um, Lots of great opportunities for you. Guys, be sure to like and share on your social media page. How about give me a uh, subscription here, man. Subscribe and also ring the little notification bell. That helps me a lot. I'll see you guys directly. Peace.